What if life, mind and matter are not separate domains, but expressions of a single unified reality? In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the German biologist, naturalist and philosopher Ernst Haeckel advanced a revolutionary idea he called monism. The view that everything in the universe, from the smallest atoms to the most complex organisms, arises from the same underlying substance. While he is widely known as one of the early defenders and popularizers of Darwin's theory of evolution, Haeckel went further than Darwin himself, proposing that the unfolding of life is not random but part of a larger, interconnected process governed by universal laws. For Haeckel, the cosmos is a living system, and human consciousness is not an isolated phenomenon, but an expression of the same creative forces shaping stars, oceans, and forests. In this video, we'll explore Haeckel's vision of the unity of all life, his scientific achievements, and his enduring influence on ideas of cosmic consciousness. Ernst Haeckel was born in 1834 in Potsdam, Germany, and trained as a physician before turning his attention to the natural sciences. Inspired by Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species, Haeckel became one of Europe's most passionate advocates for evolutionary theory. But unlike many scientists of his time, he sought more than just biological explanations. He wanted to understand the meaning behind life's complexity. A prolific researcher and gifted illustrator, Haeckel classified thousands of species and produced intricate drawings of radiolarians, jellyfish, and other microscopic organisms, revealing hidden patterns of symmetry and beauty in nature. These discoveries deepened his conviction that the laws of physics, chemistry, and biology are not separate but part of a single continuum. Haeckel's philosophy of monism emerged from this vision. The belief that the apparent diversity of life and matter conceals a deeper unity, an indivisible ground from which everything arises. At the heart of Haeckel's thought lies monism, his radical claim that reality consists of a single, universal substance that manifests as both matter and mind. In contrast to dualistic philosophies, which separate spirit from body or mind from matter, Haeckel believed these are simply two aspects of the same underlying essence. The diversity of organisms, the structure of the cosmos, and even consciousness itself emerge from this unified foundation. He argued that nature is governed by consistent laws, weaving every part of existence into a seamless whole, from the behavior of galaxies to the firing of neurons. While rooted in science, Haeckel's monism carried profound spiritual implications. If all things arise from the same source, then all life is interconnected, and the universe itself can be understood as an expression of a single, unfolding intelligence. This idea challenged traditional religious doctrines, while also transcending strict materialism, offering a vision where matter and spirit coexist within a living cosmos. Haeckel extended Darwin's insights beyond biology, proposing that evolution is not limited to the development of species, but encompasses consciousness itself. Just as life evolves through patterns of adaptation and transformation, he believed that mind emerges naturally from matter as complexity increases. For Haeckel, there is no abrupt boundary between the inanimate and the living, or between matter and awareness. Instead, Consciousness is a natural expression of the same creative forces shaping the entire cosmos. This view anticipates aspects of modern theories like panpsychism, which suggests that some form of experience is inherent in all things. For Haeckel, the universe was not a dead machine, but a living dynamic system where matter organizes itself into ever higher levels of integration, culminating in beings like us, capable of reflecting on the very processes that produced us. In this way, human awareness becomes a mirror of the cosmos itself. One of Haeckel's most profound insights was his vision of the cosmos as an organism, rather than a collection of isolated objects. Drawing on his studies of biology and ecology, he emphasized the deep interdependence of all systems, from the smallest microbe to the largest galaxy. He observed that life does not exist in isolation but within networks of relationships ecosystems, climates, and planetary processes, all intertwined within a larger, self-organizing whole. Haeckel saw humanity not as the pinnacle of creation, but as part of a vast, interconnected web of life governed by the same natural laws. 
This perspective resonates strongly with modern ideas like the Gaia hypothesis, which proposes that the Earth functions as a single living system maintaining the conditions necessary for life. Haeckel's early vision of planetary unity foreshadowed today's ecological consciousness, offering a framework for understanding ourselves as participants in the unfolding of a living universe. Though Haeckel rejected traditional religious dogmas, he was not a strict materialist. His monism offered a spiritual dimension grounded in nature itself, where reverence for life arises from understanding the interconnectedness of all things. He believed that the search for meaning does not require looking beyond the cosmos to some distant, transcendent realm. The sacred is found within the universe and expressed through its patterns, creativity, and intelligence. This perspective dissolves the perceived conflict between science and spirituality, proposing instead that truth and meaning converge when we recognize our participation in a single unified reality. In this way, Hackel anticipated modern movements that integrate scientific discovery with spiritual experience, inviting us to contemplate the possibility that the cosmos itself embodies a form of cosmic consciousness, an intelligence revealed not through dogma but through the unfolding beauty of life. Ernst Haeckel's philosophy of monism invites us to see the universe in a profoundly different way, not as a fragmented collection of separate things, but as a single, interconnected whole. His message is simple yet profound. By understanding the unity of all life, we awaken to our place within the living, conscious universe.